Nancy Green was born in Ottawa May 11, 1943, and currently lives in Rosslyn, British Columbia. She did her early skiing on Red Mountain. Both Nancy's parents were from British Columbia and were founding members of the Red Mountain Ski Club. Nancy has two sisters and three brothers who all skied from the age of three. Her career was kick-started when she began ski racing in her local high school races. A large part of my training was uh, for strength, and I think I can say that I was stronger pound for pound than any of the girls I was racing against. I was probably the first international racer that did weight lifting for strength training, and that came about because I had broken my leg when I was 17, and I met a man in my hometown, Charlie Coughlin, who helped me get started in weight training. It gives you a tremendous sense of self-confidence to know that you're strong. Then you know you can take chances, and if you fall, you're not going to get hurt. Nancy Green's father played a big role in her skiing. He kept her motivated when she started to give up on her career, and he pushed her to keep going. In 1967, when, when I really inside me thought that I had no hope to win the World Cup, my father phoned me and said, Nancy, it's mathematically, it's still possible. If you do this and this, and if they don't do this and this, and... And week by week, he followed it and he figured out really what I had to do to win. And I, I was trying to not think about it too much because I, if I thought if I thought about it too much, I would, um, I would get too uptight and, and blow everything. But I have to admit that it was really nice when he would call and say, you can still do it. It's still possible. And that kept me going. And in, in the end, I won the World Cup in the very last race of the year. And, three weeks before the Olympics um, in some ways was good because it took the pressure off me. When we went to Grenoble, the press especially were busy saying, how's your ankle, how's your ankle? And I, it's almost as though I had a built-in excuse. If I hadn't performed well, they would have blamed it on my ankle. The first race was the downhill and I went too wide on the gates. So I wound up 10th and I was really disappointed. But I, I put it behind me and the next race was the slalom. Nancy won gold and silver medals at the 1968 Grenoble Olympics and overall World Cup titles in 1967 and 68. She won the Olympic gold medal for Canada in the women's giant slalom and had a fantastic run of 1 minute 51.97 seconds. She won the gold by a margin of 2.64 seconds. This was the largest time gap in the event's history. Green missed the gold the following Tuesday by only 29 to 100 of a second against her arch rival of France. Here's your dad, Ross. Hi, Dad. Hello, Dad. Very, very wonderful. Oh. How do you feel? Thrilled. Uh, so are we, everybody here. Oh, it's really exciting. It's just... Uh, oh. Awarded the Louis Marsh Trophy for Athlete of the Year in 1967 and 1968, Nancy retired from her skiing career at age 24 and married Al Rain. They have been promoting ski tourism in BC at places such as Whistler and Sun Peaks Resort. Following her retirement from competition, she has made major contribution to Canadian sports since accepting an appointment to the government's task force on sport for Canadians. Nancy Green was originally diagnosed with thyroid cancer in February 2017. She had her thyroid removed and then was also diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in her lungs. Nancy Green was a senator of British Columbia for nine years but had to retire in 2018 at the age of 75 due to the mandatory retirement age. You still remember the excitement of uh, winning gold and how that felt when you heard the anthem? You know, you'll never forget that because it's, it's so powerful, so emotional, especially I think when you're on the podium and it really hits you that you achieved your dream. And, you know, I had been working for nine years and you're standing there and you should be happy and you start, you want to cry and you're trying so hard not to cry. So I always tell the athletes when they go to the Olympics, wear waterproof mascara. <laughs> Nancy Green Lake Park is a roadside park and a welcoming site for tourists for an overnight stop or for day use. The main attraction in this park is the subalpine lake known as the Nancy Green Lake. I think that what it takes to succeed remains the same. You have to have a real love of your sport to carry you through all the bad times. You still want to go to ski even when things aren't working. You must have a commitment to work hard and to never give up. 